For today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the distributive property. Think about the word, what, think about the word distribute and what that means. When you think of distribute, it means to give out. You're giving things out, and that's what you do when you use the distributive property. So for example, if you have the problem 4 times the quantity of 8 plus 6, yes, you could use order of operations to solve that, but you could also distribute the 4. By distributing the 4, I'm going to multiply the 4 times the 8 first. So I would do 4 times 8, and then I'm going to add that to the product of 4 times 6. I'm distributing the 4 to both the 8 and the 6. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 6 is 24. So the answer here would be 56. Distribute the 4 to the 8 first and then distribute the 4 to the 6. That's how to use the distributive property.